The way back is far, but the heart must stay determined. Updated July 13. Released on June 14, 2024. Limited edition magazine sold out 61,700 copies in seconds. The way back is far, but the heart must stay determined. A long and treacherous road, with unwavering determination, eyes fixed on the shore. From a certain point in time, Cheng Yi decided not to set a specific future, and he didn't want to measure his achievements by time. Holding firmly onto the steering wheel in front of him and embracing the determination in his heart, he has steadfastly journeyed from one path to another. This is the conclusion he has drawn in the current world, and ultimately, it will lead him to a future he had never imagined before. 1. Only by walking on the rocky road can you have enough confidence to move forward. Cheng Yi occasionally recalls his time filming Beauty in the Tang Dynasty. When he first entered the industry, every movement on set piqued his curiosity. Since this was his first film, he always felt more anxious than confident. Every day, he would memorize and rehearse his lines at home, simulating the scenes and practicing his acting. A month before stepping onto the set, he was entirely familiar with the thick script and thought, there shouldn't be any problem. However, when he got to the set, he was confused when the director shouted, why isn't anyone in the frame? It was only then that he realized he had stepped out of the frame. He often thinks back on this incident and laughs, saying, I wonder, if I had prepared so well, why did I still get stuck when I got to the set? Much of the shooting process on set was beyond Cheng Yi's imagination. Before, as an audience member, he thought the filming would always closely follow the storyline from start to finish. Only after he became an actor did he realize this was not the case at all. Sometimes on the first day of shooting, he would have to film the final scene. When asked how he felt about it, he only felt confused. The first scene I had to shoot was the character's death. I hadn't experienced anything with the character before, so what emotions should I carry to perform? Later, he finally understood. You can only practice on your own and gradually get used to it. If it doesn't work once, try again until you understand what the entire crew and the role need most. This principle was not only used to find the emotions of the characters in the film, but also to understand different life experiences. Cheng Yi had never had practical experience with many professions. Before filming The Borderline, he could only rely on his impressions of judges from TV dramas. It was only when he visited a court in person to observe the work of judges and later applied it practically in his acting that he realized the profession bore much more weight than the public perceived from afar. Participating in a show related to forensic science, he had a similar experience. For the sake of the living, speak for the dead. Every profession has its own challenges and endless hardships, and he has come to understand this more deeply. It is as clear as the principle that effort and reward are proportional. In the early years of filming, Cheng Yi often filmed day and night, and reversing the day-night schedule was normal. He did not find it difficult and always approached the set with enthusiasm. At that time, he didn't think of anything else or have time to think of anything else. All he thought was, to gain as much experience as possible, I must pay more than others. Those who move forward with a sincere heart can always see the light in the distance. Later, he finally transformed from someone who initially didn't know where to stand during filming to someone who became more and more confident and distinct. After starring as the lead actor in several films, Cheng Yi felt even more that he needed to study harder to keep up with his career development. He began to understand that being seen is not easy. Around him, were many senior colleagues who all worked hard and paid a high price for their profession, but not everyone was lucky. Sometimes they had to switch careers to make a living. These situations awakened and motivated him, making him realize how valuable the job opportunities he received were, so he wanted to devote more time to acting and do his best in every role. Devoting himself to work for a long time will inevitably lead to fatigue, but Cheng Yi chose to change his perspective to cope with it. I will be very happy if today's scenes are filmed well, 
and I will feel satisfied if tomorrow's scenes are also filmed well. With this mindset, fatigue is not something to complain about. On the contrary, I will feel that something better happens every day. Once such a mindset becomes a habit, there seems to be some kind of contagion and attraction. When you love your work enough, you will naturally gather a group of good people around you. Perhaps this is the law of attraction? Like-minded people find like-minded friends. Cheng Yi also increasingly enjoys working with a team. In his view, every story has its uniqueness, and how to bring out the personality of the characters is inseparable from the efforts and wisdom of every team member. During the preparation stage for each film, Cheng Yi often discusses with the director, scriptwriter, and other crew members on set, thinking about how to bring new vitality to the characters and offer something different to the audience. This was also true when filming Mysterious Lotus Casebook. Everyone would always come together to discuss a certain point and imagine whether the character's logic flowed smoothly. Although many revisions focused on details, they also had unexpected impacts on character development. The audience is very smart. They can quickly discern if you have something you want to convey. Two, it's acting, but it's also a journey of growing with the characters. After filming for a long time, Cheng Yi felt he had changed somewhat. When he was a teenager or in his 20s, Cheng Yi was particularly lively. He had no particular worries and could only see the surface of problems. When he truly entered society and began working, he realized that he was immature at first, but as he gained more experience, he gradually became calmer, and the problem of distraction that he always wanted to eliminate was naturally resolved. He recalls that when he was a student, his parents always thought he wasn't serious and often fell asleep while reading. It wasn't until Cheng Yi started doing the acting job he loved that he could read scripts repeatedly. Even his parents were surprised by this change. Work has also given him some other good habits. For example, when it comes to eating, Cheng Yi has been used to preparing simple dishes like boiling or blanching ingredients for years. Then. With just a pot, a meal is ready in a short time. If he can't find enough time to exercise while working, Cheng Yi will pay special attention to his salt intake and carbohydrate levels and find ways to avoid edema. If you shoot films every day, you must maintain your physique in this way and not let yourself change too much. This is something every actor does, but in normal life, it's more important to enjoy every meal and be in a happy mood. If he has time, Cheng Yi will seize the opportunity to exercise. Only with good physical strength can he shoot better martial arts scenes. Looking back in time, his exercise habits also came from being an actor. At that time, when Cheng Yi auditioned, someone would say, why don't you have muscles? This meant that you had to have a good figure before you had the opportunity to take on more roles. Cheng Yi thought to himself, just wait. He went back and trained hard to build a muscular body. Later, he found that exercising was indeed necessary. For example, if you're playing a fitness coach, a boxer, or a soldier, you need to have the right physical condition. Otherwise, how can you convince the audience? Moreover, as an actor, every gesture and movement will be magnified on the screen. To present a better mental state, exercise habits must naturally be maintained. On the other hand, Cheng Yi also follows sports events during his breaks, especially track and field, table tennis, swimming, and other competitions. Among his sports-related memories, the most impressive was the 2008 Beijing Olympics. The mascots Fuwa and the banner, Beijing Welcomes You, remind him of a passionate summer when Olympic athletes continuously fought for their goals. Regarding the upcoming Paris Olympics this year, Cheng Yi said, he would still pay attention to specific events after work. It would be better if he could watch one or two matches in person, but work may not allow it. 03. The distant city and the home that resides in the heart. Cheng Yi has traveled to Paris for work many times, but has never had the opportunity to tour the city. Because traveling somewhere for work and visiting as a tourist always brings different feelings. After arriving by plane, I start trying on clothes in the evening. The next day, I have to work and shoot photos, and then I rush back. 
Cheng Yi feels that he is still unfamiliar with that distant city. If he has more free time in the future, he wants to find a quiet corner to sit for the entire day without worrying about anything else, just daydreaming and enjoying, cycling or strolling leisurely. Instead of rushing to a specific place, he would stop and sit down whenever he finds a spot he likes, gazing and memorizing the city with his own eyes. Most of the time, he is still the Cheng Yi revolving around work, hurriedly arranging schedules, going home, eating, bathing, reading scripts, and sleeping like a clock ticking away day by day. Occasionally, on a leisurely afternoon, he makes himself a cup of tea, a habit he picked up in his 20s. Seeing his seniors drink tea all the time, he learned from them. Every time he makes tea, it's based on his mood. He doesn't choose the type of tea, he just wants to relax. For a long time, he has enjoyed fishing. The focused state of holding a fishing rod always brings peace and openness to his heart. But in recent years, he has been so busy that he doesn't even remember where he put his fishing gear. Being with family is also a way for Cheng Yi to heal himself. As his loved ones age, he finds himself spending less time with them, which has led to a particular habit. Whenever he visits a beautiful place or eats delicious food, he subconsciously thinks about bringing his family there next time. Occasionally, when his filming schedule is less hectic, he takes the opportunity to invite his family to go shopping. I don't have time to go shopping myself, but I encourage my family to do so more often. I want them to take advantage of their age to walk more. Cheng Yi returned to Hunan some time ago, and those were the happiest days for him recently. After meeting with family at home and having a few meals together every day, I feel a bit more relaxed and comfortable. It's rare for him to have time to return home. Every time he goes back, Cheng Yi notices that the streets seem to have been renovated again. He wants to find traces of his childhood memories, but doesn't know where to start. The people of Hunan love eating noodles. When he returned to his hometown, he visited the noodle shop he used to go to as a child, only to find that it had long been demolished. The memory of the noodle shop auntie is still vivid in his mind. Auntie, please go easy on the chili in my noodles. At that moment, he thought, if he had apprenticed with the noodle shop auntie back then, Perhaps now, he would have become the owner of a noodle shop, running a small eatery where he could pass on the taste of his childhood. Thinking about it makes him laugh. He knows that everything moves forward according to its own rules and that everything has its own future. Is change necessarily a good thing? Sometimes he can't help but think about it, but he also understands that people should move forward and experience wherever change takes us no matter where it ultimately leads. And Cheng Yi, with these sincere thoughts, sometimes takes a moment to rest, but often throws himself into his work, striving to perfect each character he portrays and will eventually reach the destination he desires. Be a viewer of yourself, text E2. As the lights dimmed, the photographer directed the camera towards Cheng Yi, who then leaned halfway out the window in front of the lens, striking the appropriate pose for the shot. It was a pose that required significant core strength as the photographer continuously pressed the shutter, and Cheng Yi kept striving to match the pose, silently cooperating with the photographer's needs. After filming a scene, the crew couldn't stop praising him, and he quietly smiled from the side. This was one of the scenes being filmed on set. That day's shoot extended late into the evening. Although it should have been a tiring job, Cheng Yi showed no signs of fatigue during the final interview. He proactively talked about his previous filming experiences to answer the interview questions. From his perspective, standing on the set, he was both a participant and an observer. He carefully observed the composition of the scene from the perspective lighting, to small adjustments in shape and posture. He was curious and wanted to understand the concept of photography from others' viewpoints, what efforts were needed to complete it. Although he had participated in numerous films, he felt it was the art of everyone, and he was just a contributing factor in the expression of this art. 
Many conversations revolved around work. Cheng Yi mentioned that while his life might be ordinary, he had to be serious and realistic when working. He often spent a long time contemplating a small detail, thinking that perhaps he could add more color to the character. So, each time he finished a scene, he would read the script repeatedly, even though he had memorized the lines. There were also times when he felt an inexplicable excitement and thrill, mainly due to receiving a new and unique role. I would have a sudden burst of inspiration and even cheer for myself with an ah from the bottom of my heart. This is how he describes those moments. Cheng Yi's eyes sparkled as he spoke these words. You will see, there is a genuine yet passionate dedication to his work and a willingness to give his all, maintaining enthusiasm and continuously striving without rest, evident in his words. At that moment, it was truly captivating and powerful. Excerpt from Cosmopolitan Magazine, 